four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel will leave Scuderia Ferrari at the end of the 2020 season. It is news that doesn't surprise us, but leaves a lot of questions over where Vettel will go, if anywhere, and who will replace him at the Italian side. In a statement, Vettel spoke of how harmony is needed within a team for the best results. My relationship with the Scuderia Ferrari will finish at the end of 2020. In order to get the best possible results in the sport, it is vital for all parties to work in perfect harmony. Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto spoke of how it was a joint decision. This is a decision taken jointly by ourselves and Sebastian, one which both parties feel is for the best. It was not an easy decision to reach given Sebastian's worth as a driver and as a person. Vettel's teammate Charles Leclerc has paid tribute to the German driver. It's been a huge favour for me to be your teammate. We've had some tense moments on tracks, some very good ones and some others that didn't end as we both wanted. But there was always respect. Even though there wasn't perceived in this way from the outside, I never learnt as much as I did with you as my teammate. Thank you for everything, Seb. From reading the full quotes, which can be found in an article written over on the apexmotorsport.com, which is linked in the description, retirement is definitely an option for Vettel. If retirement isn't an option for the German, then where could he go? There are two names that are being constantly linked with the empty seat of Ferrari. They are Daniel Ricciardo and Carlos Sainz. If either of these drivers take Vettel's seat of Ferrari, it does leave an empty seat at their own teams, which Vettel could more than comfortably fill. But do the teams want this? One rumour that the Apex Motorsport have seen is Vettel going to Renault, replacing Daniel Ricciardo, who won't be heading to Ferrari, but to McLaren to replace Carlos Sainz, who moves to Ferrari. Ricciardo would love the opportunity to be in a Ferrari, but he won't want to be the second driver with Leclerc, who has a contract until 2024 being Ferrari's future. Ricciardo will probably rather join the McLaren resurgence as number one driver, and go for a world championship when the Woking team are back at the front of the field. Sainz as a driver has showed great resilience over the past few seasons, making the move to McLaren that ultimately saw him being the best of the rest by some margin, and even claiming a maiden podium at Brazil. He is someone who could play second fiddle to Leclerc without too much disruption, but he sniffs out an opportunity to go for the title, he certainly would. There isn't much point looking at the Ferrari Young Driver Academy, who despite have a number of quality young drivers, they aren't ready for a step up to Ferrari just yet. Maybe Ferrari get the likes of Sainz or even Bottas in for a single season to allow a Ferrari young driver to develop at the likes of Alfa Romeo. For Ferrari fans, it'll be sad to see Vettel go, but one thing is for sure, he will be fired up for the 2020 season and give it his all. He can make as many mistakes as he likes this season, as he know he isn't fighting to keep his seat. A fifth world title for the German could be on the cards if he's fired up and keeps the car facing the right way. Over on the apexmotorsport.com, we have an in-depth article about this piece of news and where Vettel might end up in 2021. You can view that article by clicking the link in the top line of the description. Make sure you follow our social media accounts so you don't miss out on any breaking news from the world of motorsport. We have also launched a motorsport merchandise range where you can find top quality motorsport merchandise for a fraction of the price you would normally pay. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that we post.